Diarrhea death pit, yeah! Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, and I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Where Is My Mommy? A story about Poop trying to find his mommy. There's currently, uh, three levels, four levels, technically. Yeah, if you look at the top there, there's a little map that infers. Uh, I really haven't gotten past the second level, but it's, it's a relatively fun game to try and get through. I think it might have been better as like a flash animation, but then, then you wouldn't have the crunchy music, music as crunchy. Um, there aren't a lot of jokes aside from like, oh, there was SpongeBob, oh, we went through some semen, troll face coin, you know, Mimi, Mimi. If you enjoy some, some memes, I don't even know if they're that dank, man. <laughs> I've seen danker memes. When the when fucking people need to come up with some good memes. Memes are dead, as far as I'm concerned. What do we got? Fucking damn Daniel. What are those? Fucking please kill me. Jesus Christ. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. We got shoe memes. Or butt memes. I mean, poop memes are fun. I'm, I'm on the side of poop memes. Uh, if it's poop memes versus shoe memes. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, poopy. I do have, a. Uh, an extra life behind me so that'll that'll come in handy I do hope but there's also uh, points oh god damn it it was really hard to see the fucking the whiteness against the the poop doom poopy life all right poop goes in the tampon <laughs> and another one and again I don't know you see the a lot of jokes again for the price tag I don't know if it's worth it necessarily um, w once you've seen it once, it's like, oh, I get it. You went through a, a gerbil. There's some diarrhea death pit. <laughs> diarrhea death pit. Yeah, put that on the t-shirt. <laughs> I fucking want it now. Oh, god damn. I need to start a, a store and just buy all my own shirts. <laughs> yep, that's all I wear. My fucking Dayton does shitty brand. Just a, a jerseys shittily screen printed <laughs> you love it god damn come on poopy we can do this you and me little buddy we're gonna fucking make it the idea is great I just feel like uh, a lot of the potential was missed which is unfortunate so friends this is the score breakdown for where's my mommy on the gameplay side, we have the controls. I gave it a 10 out of 10. It feels extremely good on the keyboard or a controller. You use the L and R triggers to turn poopy into a liquid or solid, respectively, and uh, that's also attached to A and D, respectively. So you can hold down both of them and turn poopy into a liquid or solid by letting go of one, which I find really dynamic, and I think it's a definitely a good idea that they added it. it makes the controls completely fluid. Unfortunately, it's the only uh, perfect score that Where's My Mommy was able to receive. The fun factor, I've given a 3 out of 10. It's not extremely um, funny, <laughs> really, aside from the fact that it's sentient poop, which is just funny in itself. But there's no writing or anything to enhance stuff. It's just like, throw in some memes, I don't know. So the fun factor definitely uh, strikes me as a little low on this one. Um, they call it a full release, so uh, I'm judging it as a full release, and as a full release, for six dollars, I think it's a bit much. Um, not enough fun contained within to, to be worth six dollars. You can you can go watch poop jokes anywhere. The difficulty I've given the nine out of ten. It's definitely up there uh, in sadist mode if you want it. Uh, however, some of the difficulty comes from getting stuck on objects, which I don't think should be a feature of the game, it, it seems like a bug to me because I get stuck on things that I shouldn't really get stuck on, and then they're just kind of like, well, yep, yeah, that's a feature. It's like, well, no, it sucks. Uh, but aside from that, extremely difficult, so I've given the difficulty a 9 out of 10. Replayability, I've given a 2 out of 10. I don't see myself coming back to this title. Um, you know, there's not enough carrot on the stick to make me really even want to finish it probably a cinematic at the end or an achievement and it's like well okay whoopee doo 
I, I would really like to see something else added to this game, even if it was just uh, more obstacles or skins or, you know, something to bring me back, a global high scoreboard, but there's, there's really none of that. Uh, I might want to show it to a friend to give them uh, the same laugh that I had when I turned it on. But other than that, really not that much. I've given it a 2 out of 10 on replayability. Innovation, I've given it a 5 out of 10. Um, Speedrunners is a really good speedrunning game. This is not. <laughs> I mean, I, I put it average on the innovation. I guess there are some laughs to be had and things like that. But overall, it's not going to stand the test of time. And I can say that with confidence. Once the initial jokes wear off, you're like, oh, they, he went through a condom. Oh my god, he's in a tampon. It's like, shit in a tampon is hilarious, but like, I don't know, I'd like to see some some more writing jokes or something to make the $6 price tag worth it, and I just did not see that here, unfortunately. On the aesthetic side, we have the graphics, which I've given a 7 out of 10. They are extremely likable. Um, things like the liquid poop don't move extremely precisely which I find to be a bit of a missed opportunity uh, but overall I really like the animation and the graphics and just yeah the overall style is really nice so I've given it above average score at 7 out of 10 music um, yeah I don't know I'm definitely more of a fan of ambient dubstep but the the wah wah mu music is okay I like like electro and stuff and it's all relatively well constructed I'm a little disappointed with how hip it tries to be. It's just like, well, throw in these, uh, you know, wob wobs and some memes and I don't know. It, it really turned me off, but the music overall is well constructed, so I, I gave it an above average score at an 8 out of 10. Sound effects, I've given a 7 out of 10. They are extremely well done. I really, really like uh, how small they thought. It, Pun not intended, I guess. Um, but yeah, things like fruit squashing or condom snapping or, you know, it's it's really easy to actually capture those sounds and that's really important if you're trying to get explosions or scrap metal bending up. It's like a lot harder to find a decent asset for that. So yes, the sound effects are on par with the graphics out of 7 out of 10. Really, really nice aesthetic in this game. Unfortunately, it falls flat on the story in my eyes. Uh, I've given the story a 1 out of 10. It's a funny concept, uh, but it doesn't feel like it really got past the concept stage. It only really serves to get the ball rolling, <laughs> so to speak. See, it's so easy to, to write jokes for this, and there's no written jokes. It's just like, well, there's some poop, and it's alive, and also memes. <laughs> there you go. And as a 28-year-old man, it's not enough to capture me. Maybe if I was 14 or 15? Yeah, probably if I was 14 or 15, but, um, yeah, at a $6 price tag, I just don't know. I just don't know. If you're spending your allowance on it, great, but if you're, uh, if you've got a paycheck and you're spending that on it, you might, you might come up a little disappointed. <laughs> Finally, the level design, I've given a 5 out of 10. It's, it's average as well. I mean, you twist and turn through a colon and smash through some fruit and some light bulbs and think about glass shards, uh, going through people's rectums and that's that's kind of funny but overall not enough to, to hold my attention for an extended period six dollars is a bit much to ask for it the final score for where's my mommy is a 57 out of 100 that is a 2.85 out of five stars creeping up on that three star mark that average mark but not quite there um so yeah a little more work to be done in my opinion but not a bad game if you're looking for just a laugh. I'd say go check it out if it looks like something you'd be interested in. Although, uh, all the laughs that were there, I probably showed you already. So, sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, go have some platforming fun. Speedrunning, platforming, poop forming fun. <laughs> I've been Brandon Dayton, you humble narrator. If you did enjoy this episode, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next one, friends. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.